Hi there, guys. Vitruve here. Uh, I was watching the Full Send podcast and I saw um, Nate Diaz bring up something interesting about people like Khabib and DC. So let's just get right into it. Would you agree that McGregor is one of the best shit talkers ever, though? So here, uh, one of the Full Send, I don't really watch this because one of the Full Send members asked him if Connor is one of the best shit talkers ever, right? This is kind of what leads into this conversation. Yeah, he's a rude little fucker. He yeah. talks hella shit. And he's. <laughs> Like, it makes you mad. You're like, dude. Were you ever, like, when he was saying some shit, obviously he said shit to you, but when he, he was saying some shit to Habib, were you like, holy shit, this guy will say fucking anything? <laughs> no. So he asked Nate um, if he's, like, impressed that Connor was talking crazy, crazy shit to Khabib, and Nate responds this. <laughs> Fuck Khabib. That was funny. I had a good fucking... Khabib's yeah. the worst. Why? Because he's just like, look at him, he ran off. He's a jock. It's not my style of fighting. I don't like it. Like the wrestling shit? Like... So he says um, that he doesn't like Khabib and it isn't his style of fighter. And people assume that he's talking about wrestling, that he doesn't like wrestling and stuff like that. And that's the easy assumption to make. But look, listen to what Nate says next. He's taking them down. Yeah, that's cool. Whenever that's how, that's how you fight, right? But just... The, the style of fighter in general. He's not a real fighter. Him, DC, uh, certain guys are just like, I'm not interested in that kind of fighting at all. Yeah. And he doesn't express it very well. It's hard to know what exactly he's saying, but he brings up DC as well. And he says, wrestling is fine. Wrestling is a part of fighting. But then he says, I'm not a fan of wrestlers. What does he mean by that? Let's carry on the clip a bit. Not wrestling either, because I love wrestling. It's just like the wrestling, like, jockey attitude. I'm a real fighter. And uh, I like real fighters. People fight for real. I take it from a different... On the flip side, who are some guys that you do, like, respect or... Uh, I like my brother. I like uh, BJ Penn. So, yeah, it, it's interesting, because you think... Like, what does he mean by wrestlers? What does he mean by jockey attitude? He lists people like Khabib and DC and says they're not real fighters. So I put some thought into this. And basically what he means is that there are people that are fighters and there are people that are competitors, right? People like DC, Khabib, Henry Cejudo, they, they grew up as competitors. They grew up to compete in mixed martial arts. Originally, Cejudo and DC were actually Olympic wrestlers, so they were competing as competitors, and Khabib was like a sambo or whatever, also a wrestler, you know. And for them, fighting was never about fighting, it was about competing and trying to be the best and making a living by doing so, right? Khabib, the only way to actually acquire wealth in Dagestan is to compete as a wrestler and make it and make money through that. And DC and Cejudo, this was basically their goal from a very young age is to be like Olympic wrestlers. And competing is very different to fighting. It's basically what Nate is saying. And I think I agree with that because that you have fighters in the UFC, people in the UFC that aren't competitors, right? They didn't choose to become fighters because they wanted to compete at the highest level. No, no, no. They chose to be fighters because they had to fight, basically. They were like bullied at school and they had to stand up for themselves. They were troubled little kids, teenagers, and to stay out of prison, they had to train as fighters, right? Because they'd get into so many fights. And people like Nate, Sean Strickland, Conor McGregor, I think even Dustin Poirier, you know, uh, Leon Edwards, they basically had to fight. They didn't have a choice because they were troubled little teenagers that were getting into a lot of fights regardless. So they ended up at a boxing gym or an MMA gym. And for them, it was a way out of getting into trouble. They were always fighting. It wasn't... I want to become the greatest boxer ever. It was like, I'm getting into real trouble. My mom's sending me off to, bo to boxing classes because I'm getting into so many fights. And you could see it in the mindset of people like Nate and Connor against people like DC or Khabib because DC and Khabib, they're very respectful. They're competitors. They just want to win, you know? But people like Connor and Nate, like for them, it's mental warfare. For them, they despise this person they want to destroy this person mentally and physically because that's how they grew up they grew up with a bullying class and they were like talking shit to the bully and they'll get into fights with bullies and that's how they became fighters right and it's interesting because i've never really thought about it before and um 
I've always found it easy to be fans of people like Nate, and I think a lot of people do, or people like Leon. Leon's an interesting um, outsider in this example, because Leon isn't a bully, you know, but he grew up in Birmingham, he was getting into ghettos, he was getting into fights, and he ended up in a gym, and he's a real fighter too. And the thing you can notice with these real fighters is that you can't really trigger them. Like, if you talk shit to Sean Strickland, uh, Connor, or Nate, or Leon even, like, they don't give a shit. Because they, people talk shit to them when they're 12 years old, you know? The worst fights they've been in, the, the worst they've ever felt in fights happens when they're 13 years old, when a bully talks shit to them and beat them up, you know? This has been a part of their life for their entire lives. And they're able to overcome that and become fighters and earn money doing what they've always done, basically. It wasn't a choice. This was the only option for them in a lot of ways. And if you reflect on it further, even like John Jones is a competitor and not a fighter. Suhudo, competitor, not a fighter. The competitors tend to be better than fighters. They are more likely to become UFC champions and stuff like that. But when the fighters become UFC champions, that's when they become like real stars, like Connor or Leon or whatever. Like, look how big of a star Nate is, even though he was never UFC champion, even though he didn't even win the BMF belt. Look how big of a star uh, Jorge Masvidal is. Masvidal, another one, always been a fighter, always been fighting on the streets, never about money, never about competition. It was just like, my life, shit, I'm gonna get into fights, you know? And uh, they become the, sometimes the biggest stars. Khabib's kind of an exception, but Khabib kind of has the Muslim community behind him, and he kind of got a lot of hype through Connor. So it's very interesting to think about. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd translate this because it's an interesting topic. You guys uh, give me your thoughts in the comments. Maybe list some more guys that you think are fighters and some more guys you think are competitors. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Peace.